I don't have lip gloss on. Well, that's really annoying. Now I gotta go find lip gloss. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be showing you what I got for Christmas. I hope you guys had like a good holiday, no matter what you celebrate. And I hope that if you were traveling, you had a better time than we did. We had a winter storm hit where I live and we were flying back from where my family lives now. Um, we were flying back on the 23rd. You can imagine how that went. Really did not want to leave warm weather to come back to like negative weather. Like, no thank you. Today, I'm gonna be showing you what I got for Christmas. Um, this is not me trying to like brag or anything. I do have quite a big family that I see regularly on Christmas. I am very fortunate that I do get what I do. Because, like I said before, they don't have to do that for me. I'm happy just hanging out and, like, seeing everybody. I just want to, like, emphasize that I'm not trying to come off wrong with these videos. I just think they're fun. So, I guess I... Well, I was going to start with what my partner got me, but it's kind of buried. So, I guess we'll try that. We didn't do, like, a bunch of gifts this year because we had a lot going on. Um, plus, I just don't really see the point. We got each other gifts, but they were mostly, like, bigger gifts um so i got him a winter coat it was a guest coat so it was like a really nice coat uh because he needed a new one and i was very happy with it he loves it so much it looks so cute on him so i'm very excited about that he got me demonios and these are insane these are so insane so let me tell you the backstory on these when we were looking for wedding venues there was a store that i really wanted to go to that was probably like a 15 minute drive from where we were viewing a venue. Um, and they sell demonias in store, which I've never, I've never been to a store that has, has them in, in stock, like there for me to touch, you know, and like try on if I want to. I saw this pair in the store and I was like, holy crap, those are awesome. I've never seen anything like those. That's insane. They were pretty expensive. I think they wanted like, 170 or 180 dollars like i said this was a store and they mark things up so they make a profit on the things that they're selling because they're a small business so i understand right but i was not gonna drop like almost 200 dollars on shoes i leave them there i'm like those are so cool i've never seen them whatever we go we go home he tries to keep it a secret from me but like that day he's like he's like why so anyways uh he bought these for me online he ordered them for me and he's like these are gonna be a, a christmas present so you're not gonna open them until christmas and i i forgot that he bought these even though they were sitting in our dining room i forgot that these these were boots i believe these are a variant of the bear platforms and these are easily one of the comfiest pairs of shoes from demonia that i own because the the like shoe is not a very high heel but it's also not a flat form either so it's pretty easy to walk in i just got a size nine like i typically do in demonias if you're like a true size nine i would size up in these i am usually an eight and a half like solid eight and a half i have to get a nine in things that don't have half sizes. Apparently I'm a nine in Doc Martens now too. I won't even get get into that. Uh, these are the Bear 150s, if you're looking for them. Um, yeah, they're super cute. Okay, so now we'll get into stuff from family. I feel like there's stuff I'm forgetting. So first up is from my future sister-in-law. She got me a comfy, and if you don't know what these are, these are like giant uh, hoodie blankets. I love this thing so much. I've literally taken like four naps in it already, and I just got it Christmas day. I took my hoodie off and I was like, I'm wearing this now. It was the first thing I opened and I wore it like through the rest of the day. This is like my favorite thing ever. It is so cute. It's pink and I'm freaking obsessed with it. And it's got a giant pocket right in here. And you don't have to wear pants with it. It's so long, you don't have to wear pants. This was taped to the outside of it. It's a little, a little ornament and it's matching. It's the same color 
Um, I'm just gonna hang this up here so it doesn't get any more dog hair on it. Um, but that was so cute. That was so sweet. I, oh my god. I guess I'll get all the like tech stuff out of the way first. So before we went on our trip to visit my family, I wanted to get a case for my laptop. And since my phone case was literally falling apart, I decided to buy a phone case too, which I probably didn't need to, but whatever. And then I also got a little like stand that goes in the back. So this is the phone case that I got. I don't like how see-through it is because on the website they make it look a lot more like bright pink. And my phone is dark. I think mine is like space gray or something. It's dark. Um, so yeah, but I still really like it. This came in handy on the plane when there was a lot of uh, turbulence. This was like 20 bucks. And then this was like, I don't know how much this was. All of this was less than $30 total. So I'm like pretty happy with it. It's not an Otterbox case. It's not a case to fight case. It's from Velvet Caviar. Um, would I buy a phone case from them again? Maybe a phone case, but we'll get into why I won't buy a laptop case from them. Um, so I also got a laptop case for my MacBook. I have a MacBook Pro and I think it's from like 2018. I got this case for it to match my phone case, right? This bitch does not stay on. This does not stay on. I've had to put this on my MacBook like three different times just since I, since I bought it. Like I put on initially, then we make it down to my parents' house and I pull it out of the bag. The case pops off again. And I'm like, really? So whatever, I'm just vibing. Pops off again while I'm just vibing there. Then I go to put it back in the bag to come back here. Pops off again. Like I get it, it's a snap-on case, but come on, I didn't know they were like this. If I knew they were like this, I wouldn't have bought one. Especially if not for like, 40 fucking dollars. I don't know. It was kind of expensive and I don't really like it that much. Like it's cute, but it pops off so much. And I'm not sure if that's standard for like all of them, all of the snap-on cases, but like, no. I could have just gotten like a little like squishy zip up. Another case type thing. This is from my uh, future in-laws. I was trying to think of the word. I was like, huh? Um, they got me a case for my iPad. Um, it's just a little pink case and it opens up. My iPad's are really crusty. We're not gonna talk about that right now. Um, and it has a little holder for my Apple Pencil so I don't lose it. I was very excited about this. That's what I'm missing. My future grandma-in-law. So one of my grandmas, one of my grandmas, right? Um, she got me a black hoodie that is in the wash because I wore it on Christmas Day. She also got me a fuzzy black cardigan that had these little sparkle buttons. I have to exchange it for a slightly bigger size because my boobs be, uh, spreading the buttons apart and doing those little gaps. So then I also asked her for sparkly nail polish so she got me some sparkly nail polish oh, we're gonna ignore how gross my nails look in this video because i just ripped off my fake nails <laughs> not that long ago my parents what they got me for christmas um i'll start with the big thing that i can't really show you i'll insert a clip because i'm not i can't roll the sleeve up all the way um they helped me pay for a tattoo gift certificate so that i could get tattooed by one of my favorite artists down there because she was able to squeeze me in somehow um she had like an opening and i was like so i got a tattoo while i was down there and they basically helped me get the gift certificate so that so it's 500 dollars gift certificate um i think we paid like 350 for it and my tattoo ended up being 300 i think it was 300 yeah um so that was really awesome I'm very happy with how it turned out. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm so obsessed with it. I got a little Maggie clip. We went out to eat at Cracker Barrel, which it was not the greatest time. Like when we went to Cracker Barrel up here where I live, it was much better down there. They were just super busy and the food was just not, not a vibe. So whatever. But I got Maggie clip. 
I haven't found Maggie since she came out. I haven't found any version of her and I find her down there and I'm like, she's $4. I'm gonna buy her. I got this really soft um, gray cardigan thing. It's from Sam's Club. Um, I went to Sam's Club with my parents and I was like, this is so freaking soft. So um, they let me get one. <laughs> um, this is the best thing ever. I wore it like all the whole time I was down there. And then on the way back on the plane, I wore this. It's so great. Um, 10 out of 10. Freaking love Sam's Club too, by the way. Sam's Club is like my favorite store. I am literally 35 years old. Another Sam's Club thing. Um, these cowboy boots. They look so freaking shiny because of my ring light. They don't look like this. I almost didn't get them because they were 40 bucks, but they're Steve Madden, so I mean, their fashion shoes. It's not like they're Doc Martens or something, you know, but I was like, okay, $40 for a pair of black cowboy boots that I thought were really cute and they fit me because I tried them on in the store and I wouldn't buy them any other time because I haven't found the right ones anywhere. I literally have never seen black cowboy boots at a store. Sam's Club, like why Sam's Club of all places, whatever. So these are awesome. I'm so happy I got them. Um, wore these the whole time I was down there too. Which is, they're freaking great. I do have some things that I can't physically show you because they are big and I don't want to lug them over here and one of them is upstairs. So, my uh, future in-laws, they got me, um, they got me a lot of things I wasn't expecting, but um, they got me a freaking bread maker. Like, I know I put it on my wish list, but I was like, just, it's, I, I gave variety, right? Because I don't know what people want to do, right? So, I put a bread maker on there because I'm just like, I, I've been wanting a bread maker. They got me a freaking bread maker! So, um, it's a fully automatic bread maker because I know damn well that if I had to mix up ingredients to make bread, I'm not gonna fucking make bread. So, that is an automatic bread maker. I just dump all the shit in there and it makes bread. So, um, they, they were probably also like, oh, we're gonna get some bread. <laughs> that was really freaking cool. Um, and then they also got us, well, it was one of my presents that I opened, but like, you know, we just, it's for both of us, my partner and I, um, we have a new nightstand that I'm putting together upstairs. My ADHD, I, I couldn't, I didn't finish it the other night because it was like two in the morning and I was freaking exhausted. So. Still have to finish that, but it has a plug in it so we can charge our phones directly in the nightstand. We don't have to like crawl and plug it into a plug under the bed. We have it in the nightstand and it has drawers and stuff. Oh, I'm so happy, I'm so excited. We got new floors put in upstairs and they're gray and a lot of the furniture that we have is brown because the, the floors upstairs were carpet, but they weren't like gray carpet, you know, they weren't like gray. The house is not gray. Like our trim is still brown and stuff, but anyways, upstairs, gray floors. Yeah, this little guy, this is a Warmies plushie and you put him in the microwave and he smells like lavender. Um, this, this scent I can actually tolerate with the lavender. Um, Cause like usually lavender essential oil is not my favorite. It tends to be very overpowering and it hurts my nose. But this one, this one's okay. Um, and he's adorable and he's like a little, you can put him around your neck and stuff. Um, I put one of these on my wish list because I have uh, chronic pain issues and we don't really know what they are and they haven't really gone away. Um, and if I try to have a normal person sleep schedule, they just get worse. They get like exacerbated by that. Um, so, yeah. I'm very happy with him. I'm very excited. I'm like, can I stop? <laughs> Pair that with the comfy and I am a very toasty marshmallow. Oh, I'll show these together. I got, uh, they're like mittens, but they, they're fingerless, but you can pull up um, a thing to cover your, your fingers if you want to. Um, and they have like little grippy things in here. And then 
I got a very soft, like this is a 10 out of 10 fabric that they use for this. It's a little, what are these called? I don't know the word. I try to like walk my dog and it's when it started getting colder outside, I was just like, I can't freaking do this because my face would hurt so bad. So now I have this and I'm very excited about this. So yeah, 10 out of 10. So this is my favorite perfume ever. Did not expect this whatsoever because I just put the like the perfume, the single one, um, it goes in and out of stock on Amazon for like the full size, the largest bottle that they sell uh, for like $65, $70. Um, this is different. They went to a store and got this and it is a whole set of my favorite perfume. The only perfume I have ever used up the entire bottle of. And I told them this, I was like, dude, this is like the only perfume that I've ever been so obsessed with that I used the whole thing. And I was just, well, I was already crying. Like, dude, literally I feel like I'm one of their kids and it's insane. Like, not only is it like, I'm trying really not to, I'm trying to not like cry right now. Um, not only has it been like nice to actually have like family that I'm comfortable around that's like close now that my family has moved away um i can genuinely like feel myself getting more and more comfortable just like being around them and like enjoying spending time with them and stuff and it's as somebody who's never been comfortable even with like some of my extended family it is very special to me um and i am just very happy that like they basically like welcomed me into the family with like open arms and I just yeah so I was crying a lot um they, they're just very important people in my life um yeah so anyways not to get all sappy um but this I'm gonna get sappy about too you're probably like that's a fucking stuffed animal why are you crying over stuffed animal I cried when I opened it so let me explain I was a big webkins girl growing up um, and I recently, like this year, I managed to email them and get back into my old account from when I was a kid. It's literally from 2011. And one of the webkins that I was obsessed with when I was just starting to like develop anxiety as a kid and was at home a lot and just would like take my mom's phone and like fucking record videos like I was a YouTuber or whatever, it was this dog. Um, I still have the original one somewhere because obviously I kept it as an adult who's a fucking weirdo and likes Halloween things. Um, but it was my favorite webkins ever and I, I think my grandma's profile picture on my mom's contacts is still this webkins because some, for some reason I said it that way when I was a kid. This had a tag, I adopted her uh, already. Literally like the day after Christmas, I adopted her. But also, uh, there's something a little different about her. So Webkins will typically have a W somewhere present on their body, whether that be like their paws, it's typically their paws or it's like their, like right here, like their tushy. Um, she is missing a W, which, that's insane that's really insane because you've seen like you'll see like uh the older styles have missing w's all the time you can find them on ebay um you can find things with like two w's on ebay i have never seen a pumpkin puppy without a w there's probably some that exists but this i've never seen it and i was like oh my god that is so wild so there was a similar thing that happened last year um as you know maybe maybe you don't know um i love animal crossing so much it's another one of the things from my childhood that i just i fully lean into as an adult because you need as much happiness as you can get um so i asked for amiibo cards last year and my partner my boyfriend at the time my fiance now um he told his dad he was like hey she really wants raymond and the likelihood of you getting Raymond in the cards is not 
and like the card pack is not super high so like we should just go on ebay and get one so i open a little envelope it has raymond in it and i'm like oh my god and then um there were some other there was a pack of cards in there too so i open the pack of cards who is the second one that i pull out raymond so i got two Ray and I'm like, the universe just likes to like mess with us. Like he didn't know that it would be missing a W. He bought it from like somebody who, who just stocks webkins. So anyways, um, that is incredible. And I was very shook. I still am. And I cried. I cried and I carried it around the rest of the day. Um, so yeah, this meant so much to me. It still means so much to me. Maybe I'll do like, no, I don't want to do a Webkins collection one day. Maybe like a signatures or like my puppies or like my favorite ones or something. I don't know. These little things are just so important to me. I am still friends with like some people that I grew up with. We had our little like Webkins Instagrams. I'm still friends with those people. I still have some of them added on social media and I have some of them added on like Facebook even. It's freaking wild. And we're all grown up now. We were like 12. It makes me emotional when I think about it, but yeah. I'm very happy. I'm very, very happy. All right, so now I have a couple things left that um, my parents got for me. We were supposed to go to Disney when we went down to visit them, but uh, due to some like stuff that was going on, um, we didn't go this time, but we are gonna be going at some point. Um. There's some things happening, so we might be down there again soon, for good reason, um, yeah, but I know I'll be down there for Christmas, at least, or like around Christmas, at least, so we'll go to Disney within the next year, but, uh, they got me this little necklace, and it is so cute. And like everybody's giving me all these little like um like lovey-dovey things because i got engaged in the summer if you didn't know um i got engaged right after our one year anniversary so that was really <laughs> so yeah anyways <laughs> the next thing that they got me was this little purse um they got it at like they these are they're like I don't I honestly don't know how to describe it like a like a craft show market kind of thing and my mom was like when I saw that I was just like I have to buy that um because she's like I never see stuff like this just out at stores and I'm like you don't you have to look for it specifically um so this is a little book of spells and it's just like a little purse with like a divider right here that's also a pocket um I was very excited when I opened this because I was like, wow, oh my god. Because my parents have just, like, they've always gotten me things that are, like, really, like, on point. But, like, this is, like, hella on point. Like, leaning into the spooky shit that I like. Well, okay, I take that back. One year, my, was it my mom or was it my grandma? Basically, I told them what I wanted, but... One year they got me a Love, Pain, and Stitches handbag, and that's one of my favorite purses, like, of all time. So, whatever, but this, so cute. So, I have a couple boxes that I'm going to show you. These are ornaments, and they tried to get me things that I could, like, take home easily in our, like, uh, carry-on bags or our, like, check bags. So, this is one of the ornaments that they got me. It's, like, a bunch of little shells in like the shape of a flower and it's really freaking cute that's adorable and the little boxes i swear to god my grandma used to have these exact boxes and for like a game that we used to play on christmas eve at her house so i was really nostalgic over the boxes so this is the next box and it is these santas that are real starfish my partner really liked these as well. I think they are so cute. This is the last thing, I think, for now. Um, and it is one of my favorite things that my parents got me. It is a little pendant. 
and it has a claw in it and it is some sort of big cat claw. I'm not exactly sure what kind. I'm pretty sure I can find it if I scroll back through the artist's Instagram. I cried. I cried opening this. Um, my mom was just like, yeah, when I saw this, I knew we had to get it for you because it is just perfect. And I'm like, you were so right. Um, it is from Postmortem Crafts, if you wanna follow them on Instagram. They had a horse skull. Or like a cow skull, what was it? It was some, one of those two. They had a skull at like one of their little vendor booths that they did. So if you're like a Florida um, native and you're somewhere close to the markets that they vend at, do that shit. They also have a website. I also got some little things from Bath and Body Works, some like uh, pocket bags and some lotion. And then my mom got us a lot of candy. Um, one of my other grandmas gave us cards. So that was really sweet. Cause she's out of out of uh, town right now. Hi baby, you want a feature? Um, my boy here got a, you have disgusting bro. What did you do? Oh man. My boy here got a giant tire that's been bruising all of us when he tries to play with it. Um. But he's very happy. Um, my kitties. I didn't give them their mice yet. Oh my god. I have to give the kitties their mice. But they got some treats uh, from their their grandma. And so did so did this one. He got some treats from grandma. And then um, you also got treats from your actual grandma. So you got you got treats from everybody. You got them from your grandma and your Great Gma. Wow. You like the tree? <laughs> he likes to stare at the tree. I had to move his bed because it was been right in front of the Christmas tree. Um, I had to move it to film this. So um yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I hope you had a wonderful holiday. And I hope that you have a very happy new year. See y'all later. Bye.